Dr. Ferdinand de Spanish Martinez Jarasco. And from a small town in Hispania, they call it Jarasco. I want to introduce myself because I am the explorer that they have chosen to find the human dactyl. The human dactyl is a pterodactyl and a human forged together by the touching of their mustache. I think they chose me because I have so many accolades to my name and because as you can see I read many books, mostly dictionaries. I believe they chose me because I graduated from Harvard 17 times with the same PhD in bad culture. Not only did they choose me because of obvious brawn, they chose me because I have an extensive knowledge of things that hang upside down at night. The pterodactyl is known for its long, bat-like wing and also its call. It projects a call much like the screeching of your nails on the fingers of chalkboard. I said it backwards, but it made sense. The journey I have taken has taken me on many different faces of the earth. I have traveled from Espana. I have traveled to France. As you can hear, my assistant is in the back quelling my steed. I've traveled many places. I have come up empty-handed. As you can see, there's nothing in my hand. I have once come across a pterodactyl egg, which in turn we cook in a fry pan. Not as cool. Let's get straight to it. I am here in Banner Up, North Carolina. I am here for one reason and one reason only. Do not get it confused. I am here to find the pterodactyl in human form, the human dactyl. Banner Up, North Carolina is home to a lot of trees and a lot of dirt. And here we hope the pterodactyl has found a home. Uh, I will be on a search for three days to find. Hopefully it will not take this long. But I will say that the exclusive Reclusive, elusive human tactile man piece will be my prize. These hands will no longer be empty handed. Thank you. This, this journey I have been on has taken me many years to get to this place. I sniff with my snout the mountain air. I come to this place and I think the human dactyl is here. I have read many books. I have read many encyclopedias. And one thing I never find is the pterodactyl in human form. Today I found myself in this area. As you can see, there are mountains. There is air. I can see it, can you? And I feel like I have found the exact place of the human dactyl. If only he would just appear. If only, if only, if only he would appear. Huh? What is this? Huh? Come class! Come class! I think we have found! Huh? Do not get close! That is close! Now you back up! Huh? Is this human dactyl? Human, human dactyl! Human dactyl. Look, Pepe, the human doctor has laid eggs. Equally as important, I have fashioned a trident out of a fallen branch. Very important to have weaponry when you fight human doctor. But look, oh, I guess I shouldn't touch, but look. He has laid two eggs, very much like chicken eggs, very unpredictable. But it's okay, I've seen before and I have eat, as I said before, not as good. So, I think the best thing to do has to uh, let's move over that way and let's watch to see if I come back. Because if I come back, I will try to. We take it, we take it, we take it, the tired dog. Let's go. Now 
Now that we're behind some foliage, man, we will watch to see if the human doctor comes out. I don't know if he's... Oh, you here, Pepe? Pe you here? Oh my gosh, shh, shh, shh. be quiet, be quiet, man. Let's watch the nest. Oh, look, look, oh, man, over there. Brush perch man. Apparently we have caught a camera of him here. He made a series of calls. Nigel. It's definitely human dactopy. I think we are on our final descent. Or ascent, whatever you please. This is apparently why I use my snout to find oh, flower. The pterodactyl. Keep up, Pepe. And at the top of this mountain is where he, I found his egg nest. Oh, look. I find his egg nest again. It seems he is no longer here. Hopefully. We will find him next time. Okay, Pepe. Did you start the film? Okay, Pepe, listen. Today I'm with a couple of natives to Banner Elk, North Carolina, home to a lot of dirt. Of course, a lot of air, a lot of trees. This couple has told me that they have seen this human doctor, they have made contact, they have touched him with their eyes. They have a few things they want to share with us. So today, let me introduce the couple. This is the Copenhagen's. Tell us, what have you heard? Oh, uh, um, we didn't hear not, wait, it went out of there and... This is good information. Have, Sir, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, <laughs> we both seen it, we just came I've out. I've seen it. Yeah, to get little Charlie out. Charlie out here so that we could show him because it was over there and it's just it was over there and then it went there.
Oh, Pepe, this is not the place. Okay, I am back here. I am doctor. I am the doctor. So I am today. I am out here with a lady scientist who told me she is the one who has forged the human dactyl into existence. She is the one who has personally touched the pterodactyl's mustache to the human mustache. Lady scientist, tell us about the human dactyl. I did see it, y'all. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> As you can see, we are out here in this ravine. Oh my goodness, this wind is my hair okay? We are out here in this ravine. We were just up at the nest. Uh, I have used my snout to sniff out. I have come to this place and I think I have found where he might have been. This journey has taken me. Oh my gosh, Pepe, you stop sneezing. This wind is crazy. So if you follow me, I think I find. My journey has brought me to this place. I have spent many months tracking down the human data and um, I think that all of our hard work Pepe has paid off because for now I think we have found as you can see I think he has been here there's nothing really to show of it I just feel my intuition is put oh, Pepe hello how oh, look you see Pepe look it is a human dactyl footprint right here let me test yes it's definitely human dactyl footprint so as you can see it is pointing north, 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 south, north, south. Yeah, I think he is north, south. So we must fall. I think I... You hear? You hear, Pepe? You, I... You... Pepe, you hear? I think we have found. I, oh, no! I have found! Pepe is attacked! Oh, no! Oh, no! Run away, Pepe! Oh, no! Run away, Pepe! Oh, no, Pepe! Oh, no, Pepe! Oh, no, Pepe. Oh, no, Pepe. Oh, no. I think it's all this time I tried to find. Look at done. I think this is the end, Pepe. I'm sorry. So are you okay? Pepe, shut up. This is my movie. How many times I tell you to never talk? Pepe, oh, Pepe, what's up? Oh, are we filming? Oh no. <laughs> show him because it was over there and then it's just it was over there and then it went there. <laughs> Try, stop. <laughs> hey, Pepe, Pepe, what's up? I think he's coming back for you. Definitely.
ne, evo man dah to pe. Ten years to take me to grow. I clip my toenails though, I find one time I find pterodactyl tooth, I turn it into a tool and I clip my toenails with. I need like some real material because I'm like going off the seat of my toenails.